Welcome to the channel. This is the second part of Xi'an's fight. This video may contain spoilers so watch out. Subscribe the channel for more web novel chapters. So, now let's start the video. But, of course, the knights would not even consider it. Silence. Trapped within a barrier, how dare you act so high and mighty? One of the knights replied. Yes, a monster does weaken greatly within the holy field. That is caused simply by the fact that magical energy dissipates within it. And a monster which is a mass of magic energy must abstain from using skills in order to preserve its existence. Which is why they limit themselves to using only the simplest skills. Let's say that she creates a large explosion inside the barrier. The shrapnel will pass through the barrier and hit the knights. Thus, just to be safe, Leonard had them set up a physical attack barrier. Setting up a barrier in regards to specific types of attacks is the norm. Even though he had gone to these lengths, Leonard was still anxious. He saw Sheehan pick up fist-sized stones from the ground. He immediately figured out what she was going to do. So he had the knights, especially the ones up close, guard against the attack. A thunderous roar, and an explosion appeared in front of one of the knights. Sheehan had thrown a stone at the knight. The stone reflected on the physical attack barrier. What amazing strength. And that's her power in her weakened state, with her power sealed. How terrible would it be had they not set up the holy field in time. The oni in front of him seemed upset and was stomping her feet. Her stomps are creating cracks in the earth, so just how much power does she? Though she looks like an intellectual young girl, how cruel that lie is. Keep up the barrier with your lives if you have to. Those free, attune your spirit power to mine. I'll use disintegration. Converge the barrier on her to seal her movements. We can't let her live. When disintegration captures its target it never lets go. It is a spell that can vaporize any kind of enemy. But, using it on such a large area will cause it to disperse. Moreover, it's not a skill that every knight can use. This time, it's only possibly by using the other knight's energy. By simultaneously using it from every direction, you can activate the area disintegration. Thank goodness I was here, Leonard thought, relieved. In the first place, only he and Hanada can use this spell. Moreover, area disintegration is a high-level forbidden spell that even Hanada cannot use. It uses too much energy that it threatens the caster's life. But, consider the rampaging demon before him. He could not possibly let this demon loose upon the world. Having thus decided, Leonard gave the order. The other knights, as if reading his thoughts, have already gotten to work. They all found the thought of this monster, who exerted so much strength inside the barrier, rampage freely too terrifying. Their teamwork impeccable, they first created a 20-meter square of light around her. Collapsing the barrier on top of her, it turned into a pyramid-shaped cage. Sheehan looked at the cage of light. That looks dangerous, she thought. But, she could not break the barrier nor did she have any skills to protect herself with. The humans are looking down on her too much, Sheehan thought, and. Be gone demon. We cannot let such a dangerous being live. This world needs only one god. Disintegration. The strongest one of them cried. At the same moment, from the four corners and the zenix of the pyramid she was in a violent light assaulted Sheehan. Don't look down on me, human. Rimuru-sama, protect me. Sheehan wrapped herself in all her magical energy, and prepared for the attack. In a split second, without an explosion or heat, the light consumed her. The knights thought that power to be supreme. But they still did not neglect to keep up the barrier. Though the monster's death was certain, they would keep it up until ordered otherwise. As for those that supported Leonard's spell, they all collapsed where they stood. Having used such an extreme spell, their fatigue was expected. Even tempered knights could not avoid exhaustion. The fact that none of them died evidences how well superb they are. Leonard turned and sighed in relief, confirming that everyone was alive. But, he sighed too early. He should have done so after confirming that the monster was dead. He had used the highest anti-personnel skill and the impossibility of what he saw caused his feet to become unsteady. He had looked up to confirm the state of the target. In the center, the remnant of the oni, no, that burned thing began to move. They were not able to burn everything away, some of it remained. But that cannot possibly survive. A limbless monster, a mere torso, can only crawl into a hole awaiting death. Leonard sighed again, preparing to crush the target. It was a terrifying monster, but they had managed to defeat it. They were truly fortunate to have been able to destroy it without a single casualty. Had they not made the first move, they might have all been killed. But, 
Their goal was not to kill this monster. Leonard Sir remembered, changing his mood. Sorry for the interruption. As most of you guys know my other channel got demonetized so I want to monetize this one fast. So please help me reach 1k subscriber please guys do subscribe the channel. And he began to consider his mission. At the present, he was supposed to set up one corner of a large scale holy field. It was to support Hanada a crucial mission. However, the Ona's attack had left his men exhausted. Fulfilling the mission may prove difficult. He thought, and finally noticed that something was wrong. He did not feel that a single division had succeeded. If he was attacked, were the other groups also attacked? But even so, there's no way they could have been attacked by equally powerful monsters, so they are just running late. Slacking aren't they? What a good opportunity. I'll forge them anew when we get back, Leonard thought, and intended to contact Arno, but... BB bastards. You unforgivable. I'll never forgive you, human trash. He felt a wicked presence behind him, and turned around. An unbelievable sight unfolded before him. In the middle of the holy field, like a zombie or a ghoul, something was gathering itself together. The knights, their faces deathly blue, looked at Leonard. I am possible. How can you still live after being hit by disintegration? He couldn't help but exclaim. A rare mistake for the calm and collected Leonard. But, it couldn't be helped. If anything, it's the monster that survived disintegration that exceeds the laws of the world. And before him, the zombie-like Oni began to regenerate into her original beautiful form. Which only increased their fear. Returning to her original form in less than a minute, this is what she said. I'll show you the same level of pain, the same level of suffering, and twice the fear, humans. An ominous crimson light shining in her eyes, she embellowed. And charging forward she hit the barrier with her sword. It wasn't simply effective. And the relieved knight's faces were covered in fear. Cracks ran across the whole barrier. And, HMPH, as I thought. It's not a high-density barrier, but one that tampers with the laws of the world a bit. Well, something like that can be changed with one of the effects of my cook skill. She said and cut the surprised knight standing in front of Leonard. Though he should have lost his head, that's not what happened. Only his limbs fell to the ground. Did she surpass his sight by that much? While feeling the sense of dread intensified, he casted full recovery magic on the knight. But, it did not activate. Which caused Leonard to tremble. Cuckoo, -cu -cu, you fool. I made that human's limbless state the norm. What good would recovery magic do? He's perfectly fine already. She unhappily explained. Leonard understood what she meant which caused his heart to tremble in terror. In fact, he had noticed, but did not want to accept it, when she had rewritten the effects of the holy field. And, now before him, was undeniable proof. She overwrites the nature of the object itself. She has a skill that allows her to obtain a desired effect. In front of a skill that necessarily grants the user's desire, defense may be completely impossible. Even if you try to oppose her, she'll just overwrite it with a stronger wish. Only those who possess a similar skill can oppose her. Because Leonard was a genius, he noticed this, and despaired. He figured there was no way he could oppose her. So he thought. Understanding that a demon had been let loose upon the world. No way. It's impossible. This kind of fiend cannot possibly. Fear. As she had declared, Leonard was overcome with fear. Leaving Leonard for later, she first went for the despairing knights and the exhausted who could no longer run away. And in front of Leonard's eyes, his men, now limbless, were carefully arranged in a few moments. Leonard felt as if he were going mad from fear. And in his ear, so you are next. A sweet voice whispered. Now Leonard would come to know true fear. That's it for this video. Subscribe the channel for more web novel chapters. Meet you on next video.